Hi everyone, today's video is important as we will discuss how to deal with toxic people and how to respond to toxic behavior in a positive manner. First, we need to know who are toxic people. Toxic people distinguish themselves by their propensity to create drama in their lives or be surrounded by it. Try to manipulate or control others. Be needy, it's all about them all the time. Use others to meet their needs, such as narcissistic parents. Be extremely critical of themselves and others. Be mourning their bad fortune and other good fortune. Abuse substance or harm themselves in other ways. And be unwilling or unable to seek help. In short, a toxic person negatively and adversely affects people around them through their intentional or unintentional toxic behavior. That is why we bring you 7 ways to deal with toxic people and toxic behavior in a positive manner. Number 1. Don't rationalize their behavior. Many people don't like conflict, something that is unknown as conflict avoidance. As such, recipients of toxic behavior will allow the behavior to continue to pacify the toxic person. Recipients that wish to avoid contention will simply permit the toxic person to rumble. However, such an approach is short-sighted. Yes, the toxic person may get what they want, but guess who they will seek out the next time? Which brings us to the second point. Make your voice heard. Not everyone who displays toxic behavior is a bully, but some are. Toxic bullies will often spew their toxicity to others as means to an end. When such behavior is evident, it is time to make your voice heard and oppose such acts of intimidation. Often time the bully, when confronted with resistance, will back down and simply move on. On a related matter, sometimes it is necessary to make a stand, which is point number three. You deserve to be treated as a human being with courtesy, respect, and dignity. When someone violates the social accepted contract, it should be considered an act of aggression. This is when it is absolutely necessary to set clear boundaries. Fortunately, you don't need to get into a long, winded dialogue with them. Suddenly walking away from a toxic conversation can be enough. Number 4. Exude sensible compassion. It is necessary to separate one's toxic behavior from their true selves. When we know that someone is acting negatively due to whatever reason, personal problems, work-related stress, medical problems, it is appropriate to respond compassionately. However, practicing sensible compassion does not mean becoming someone else paying caution. When the line is crossed, it is necessary to speak up. Number five is to move on if it is necessary. Being exposed to toxic behavior on frequent basis can be mentally and physically exhausting. We will know when a person is pushing us past comfort zone and it is at times necessary to simply get away. While this exit strategy may require some fortitude on our part, it is instrumental for our well-being. Be strong, remain confident, and simply let go. Which leads us to point number six. Don't take things personally. It sure can be hard to not taking things personally, can't it? Especially when said advice applies to a toxic person. This behavior is most evident in a direct attack towards you. Interacting with a toxic person at some point in time will certainly result in something being said that is insulting, dehumanizing, embarrassing, and unnecessary. Thus, it is important to keep in mind that is not me, it's you. Number 7. Get some alone time. How we choose to deal with toxic behavior is strongly dependent on the person involved. For example, if it's a toxic colleague who sits across the office, it is easier to advise a plan to avoid their negative rhetoric. If it is a close friend or family member, spouse, kid, boyfriend, the situation can be a bit more obscure. Are to someone the more time we spend with them. In addition to helping them, we must put our well-being in first. 
One of the best ways to do this is to plan your designated alone time. 